Hello, welcome to SS Unitex Susil this side and this is continuation of PySpark tutorial. So in this video, we are going to see about these three functions. First is the starts with, second is the end with and third is the contains. So when we can use it, we'll see in this video. So let me quickly go inside the browser and we'll try to implement it in practical. So here we are having this sales.csv file. So first I'm going to read this sales.csv file so as we have already seen how we can read it in the earlier of these videos so we can simply use this query and next we are going to rename the item name and here we have the space between item and name so i'm going to remove that space over a second row now here we are using display so let's just start with the starts with so when we can use the start suite so if we want to filter out your data set that you can see here this data frame if you want only those rows those are item names starting with the total only those rows we want filter out from this so how we can do that so simply we can go with the starts with starts with can be used there and with so end with can be used if you want to filter your data frame if your end value will be income so in on that scenario you can use the end with and third one if you want to filter out your data frame that is containing any value on this scenario let's assume if we want to filter out if the dividends so if this dividends contain under the item name at any place then we can use the contains so let's see one by one so first before going to use the functions we are required to import the function so we can use the from pyspark dot sql dot functions then import then asterisk so it is going to import all the function now here we have the data frame which is df so we just want to filter out this df and at the starting position of the item name contain the total if that is going to start with the total we want to filter out so simply we can use the data frame df dot here we have to specify the column name by which we just want to filter it so we can specify item name then dot here we have to use the starts with so we can simply use starts with now inside the bracket we can specify the value so if your data frame is going to start with total then we just want to filter it and only those records will be containing on this data frame one let me try to execute and we'll see so as we could see the data frame has been filtered and it is having only those records those are starting with the total so here we can use the starts with make sure you are correctly typing this starts with otherwise it will be throwing an error as this is the case sensitive if we want to go with the end and inside the end we just want to filter only for the income let me try to execute so this time we can see it is going to filter all the rows and it is only keeping the rows those are ending with the income so simply we can use like this now the third one as we have seen the contains so we can use the contains and we want to filter out if your item name contains the operating so something operating let me try to execute this query your data frame has been filtered and if your item name contains operating at any place then those records are returning as we can see 75 rows so this is the simple way by which we can use these three functions i hope guys you have understand how we can use it thank you so much for watching this video see you in the next video